Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Next concept, which is concept number five. Al-Alwan, the different colors. So we've learned in the past uh, these colors Aswad, Abiyad, Ahmar, Akhdar, Azraq, Asfar, and Asmar. I think Asmar might be new. So it's black, white, red, green, blue, yellow, brown, right? So Aswan is black, Abiyad is white, Ahmar is red, Akhdar is green, Azraq is blue, Asfar is yellow, Asmar is brown. Um, this whole list is Mamnum and Asaf. And the wasn't of Af'alu. They're Mamnum and Asaf. This is the masculine form, right? So we put an M. Let's put a... Let's put Mu'annath. Or Mudhakkar is a masculine. Okay. It's Mudhakkar, they're all masculine. This one is Mu'annath. So the Mu'annath form is a little bit different. Sawda'u. Right? Sawda'u. Okay, is the feminine of Aswad. Bayda'u, the feminine of, of uh, Abiyad. Hamra'u, the fem feminine of Ahmar. Khadra'u, the feminine of Akhdar. Zarqa'u, the feminine of Azraq. Safra'u, the feminine of Asfar. And Samra'u is the feminine of Asmar. Okay? And there's the plural as well. This is the gem. So the plural, the same goes for the masculine and the feminine. Sud, okay? Sud, which means uh, black. So it's the plural of Aswad and the plural of Sauda. There's one for both genders. An example, well, we'll go to the examples later on. So Bid, Bid is the gem, the plural of Abiyad and Bayda. Then Humr, Humr is the plural of Ahmar and Hamra. Khudr is the plural of Akhdar and Khadra. Zurq is the plural of Azraq and Zarqa. Sufr is the plural of Asfar and Safra. And Sumr, Sumr is the plural of Asmar and Samra, which is brown. So just some sentences and some words that you may need to know. We have some ta'liqat, a bit of um, uh, notes to take on each one, on some of them at least. Sha'ru ra'si aswad. The hair of my head is aswad. Sha'ru ra'si aswad. Wa lihyati bayda. And my beard, lihyati is bayda. So because lihya is mu'annath, we use the bayda. Lihyati would be, lihya would be mubtada. Bayda is the khabar. Okay, and Sha'ar will be the Mubtada, and Aswad will be the Khabar here. Man haulai al-rijal al-sud? Man haulai? Who are these? Al-rijal al-sud? Black men. Okay, so this is one way you use the word sud, right? Al-rijal al-sud. Since it's jam, you cannot use Aswad, nor can you use Samra, so you use the jam sud. Al-Hunud al-Humr Al-Hunud al-Humr Al-Hunud is the gem of Hindi or someone that is from India Hunud, Indians Humr is red Red Indians uh, Then we have We have here uh, Example of Khadra Hadihi shajaratu This tree is Khadra Khadra Green As-Sama'u Zarqa The sky is Zarqa is blue because the word Sama is Mu'annath. So back to these. Man haulai rijal, man haulai rijal al sud. You can say, Man haulai al rijal al bil, white man. Man haulai al rijal al sumr, brown man. Who, who are these brown men? Who are these white men? Who are these black men? Two things we want to mention. Um, first, the word Hunud, Hunud, Al Humr, which is uh, Red Indians, is a derogative term. It's something we should avoid, and not because I'm explaining it means that I I, I um, endorse it or I, I recommend us using it, but um, I'm mentioning it because it's in the book. 
So Hunud Indians, remember Christopher Columbus basically think he thought that he was in India when he arrived in the Americas. So he called them Indians. So that's one, so that's a mistake. And Humar because their, their, their skins were a bit reddish. But the better term that we use is uh, Native Americans or indigenous Americans. Okay? So Hunud Humar, which is Red Indians, and I explained um, the meaning of this word. And lastly, uh, calling someone Aswad or Abiyad, sometimes it's disliked and we should avoid these terms. But nevertheless, this is how the word is, can be used in a sentence. Inshallah ta'ala.